Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be uh, creating a, a GIF or a GIF, whatever that you call it. And what you're going to be doing is we're going to be um, focusing on three main areas. First, we're going to create our assets. I'm going to walk you through the entire process of, let's say, creating an asset. And after creating an asset, I'm going to show you how to import your assets into uh, After Effects. And after that, we shall be um, working with uh, get uh, with animating those assets as well. Okay. So here I have. I'm going to create some just some sort of design. So um, just create anything you want and uh, we begin with that. Okay, so exporting this, these files and we want to use them in um, After Effects. We're going to have to save this file first, but we have to save it on different layers. So here, as you can see, we now have all these images, even though when you drop down, they are kind of separate. But they are all working on uh, on the same. They are all on the same layer. And if you import this into After Effects, it's going to just imp uh, import. It's going to flatten everything. So if if you want to, if you're going to animate this composite, that, that's why I just decided to come up with something to show you. So if I want to animate this separate from all these, I'm going to have to put all these on different layers and the, the fastest way to do that you select create a layer here and then using that uh, you just select that blue dot and then transfer it over there and it will create for you uh, the layers that you want okay so I'm quickly putting all these uh, images or all these uh, on, on different layers so now here when when you save this file and import it okay it, it will be it will be much much easier you'll be uh, you will then have the option of animating each of them individually we're going to save it when we move to after effects we now have uh, we're now going to import our file that we just created and uh, uh, and now it will it will say it will bring up these options click OK and it will import it as a composition so that's because we have uh, multiple layers so it will read that and import that as you, you will see all those layers okay uh, so what we're now going to do is uh, just bring up this composition by double clicking on it and it will be shown here so here right now the composition has a black background so we can't actually see anything uh, and the way to change that you can go to the composition settings we just click ctrl k and go to the background here and uh, just change okay so when you click here you can easily change the uh, background and you can see now how your background looks like okay so ctrl k will bring up that and you'll be able to, to, to play with it and now we're going to create uh, uh, our first so when you when you when you're here we're going to quickly create our animation and i'm going to show you probably for one and then i'm going to animate it and show okay so the, the thing to do now is when you're animating so we have this layer this one this one that and that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a trim path for 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 these layers so that this comes like this and then this and then like that okay so to create a trim path we're going to select our pen tool so with our pen tool here you can put your stroke to a certain uh, value here and remove the fill so to remove the fill you just click fill and then just remove that and just as you use the pen tool normally in Photoshop or Illustrator we are going to make 
our lines okay so like that and then you can increase the stroke weight okay so it will kind of cover up all those areas and now what you have is you can even you can adjust it just like that uh, so just make sure that all those areas are covered all right so that's that's shape one and then we do we do the same for shape two so so once once you're done there just click out and then click on go to shape two also and do the same thing so let's do this here as well so here i've made uh three shapes and now i'm going to add trim parts so i'm going to again show you how to do this and try and figure out also how to do that as well so so the first one is this part here so what i'm going to do is uh sorry here what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all uh go here to where it says shape all right and now the thing is when when you look at these layers for example this layer here is with this layer okay so i'm going to kind of do some rearrangements to uh to this so when i when i drop down this uh in the shape layer shape layer one and i'm going to go here where it says add and then i'm going to go to where it says trim part so when I go to where it says trim path, it has a start point and end. So you see when you move around the end point, it kind of moves like that. Okay, so this is going to be our basis of animation. So what you're going to do is you're going to move this with the playhead at the start. You're going to move there and add a keyframe. And then move your, your cursor to a certain point, maybe around there. Put it back to 100 so that when you move around it will kind of move like that okay so of course we shall easy is that but first i'll show you something else so now what you want to do is you want to go to this layer that is below it okay and then go here and so it so, so it says shape layer so you you now you're going to use the S that we created in After Effects, you're going to use it as an, um, you're going to set it to use the shape layer above as an alpha format. So now when you move, it's the S that animates instead of the, the alpha mat that we just created, okay? So that's going to be the first part. Second is we're going to now work with this layer so i'm going to bring it just below here uh, because i'm going to be working with this eye here okay so i'm going to also bring that and just again i'm going to do the same thing so i'm going to get this and i'm, I'm going to add a or a trim path so just add trim path and uh, in, again in the trim path you see now that if you move squish it around like that that's what will happen okay so put an end there at the end okay and then move this here like this maybe just a few seconds actually for this i'm going to move just where the s stops so the s stops there so i'm going to move this one here okay and then i'm going to move this one here and i put it at a hundred okay i hope you understand what i'm saying because now when this s finishes then this will start so uh in short what i mean is uh, now for example when we are done here i'm going to come and set that layer so the, the, the down layer to use shape layer 2 as an alpha mat. So now what we have is this. Okay, so you, you now have that kind of movement where the S comes and then this comes. So the, the next 
so once it's and that so I'm going to, the next is going to be at around there here you can go back and try to see how how to you can add for example an easy ease and stuff like that but for the sake of this video I'm not going to be going in detail so that I don't make this very long you, you're not going to go to file and you're going to export it first you're going to add it to a render queue now when you go to the render queue it's going to give you a bunch of options go to the lossless here click where it says lossless and uh, change it now i'm going to change it to jpg sequence you can ch change it to png sequence if you want it to have a transparent background and stuff like that but i kind of wanted to retain that yellow as well so i'm going to leave it at the jpg sequence and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh i'm going, I'm going to leave these options just as they are so what will happen is it's going to now uh, ask me where i'm going to keep save my file so i'm going to open my file location so let me go to this pc on the desktop and uh, I'm going to create a folder for where I want my project, so where I want my uh, uh, thing to be. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to folder and I'm going to call it the demo. And then I'm going to ask it to save uh, my files there. So it's going to create a bunch of JPG files that I'm, that I'm going to save there so yeah just click render and it will uh, start rendering out frame by frames and what it will do then it will save those frames in uh, the file location that you specified and once it's done you, you now open photoshop so once you're in photoshop um, i'm assuming that if you're using photoshop cs6 this is the tutorial this is the important part now that you have to take uh, not you're now going to come to the script uh, and then load files into stack into stack so you're going to stack files upon each other and then go to browse so then it will ask it's going to ask for your files so you go to where you save them you save them in demo as you can see now there all these files are the ones we use so just click the first one Go to the last click shift so that all of them are selected shift and click and then click ok and then a photoshop will load all those files into uh, this file area and once it's done just click ok and it will take some time but then it will load them each as uh, a layer in uh, in in photoshop so it will it will lay them upon each other so that they will now once they're done you'll be able to see uh, each each frame of your animation or of your uh, yeah like of your composition so uh, once you're done it of course it's going to take some time depending on how much how many files or images are within your composition so here now we're going to go to window and then you're going to create a what a timeline so you see that it's still kind of so when you go and create a timeline it's going to open with one frame now of course this frame you can change the delays and change, specify the seconds that you want but now we want all these frames to be shown so what you're going to do is we are going to go to this and then say make frames from layers so what that will do it will add all those frames onto your timeline but see when you play it back it's kind of playing it back in the opposite way and that's not what we want so what we want is to go to uh, here in the again the, the timeline options and say reverse frames now when we play it back it should be kind of giving us exactly the way it's supposed to be we can go to file and then we save for web just like i've done before i've shown you in another tutorial so this is how you work with files in illustrator and photoshop to 
Photoshop Illustrator and After Effects to make a, a GIF like this. I'll leave it at this and I wish you a great day. So go create, stay awesome, be amazing. Till next time, peace.